Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is early spring still. We are here on County Line Farm. I'm out of breath because I just ran up and down the stairs twice, once with laundry, once with Grummet. The dog. So we are playing Seasons. I've got my fields all ready for planting. They need lime, though. Um, so we could probably let me check the map and see how the other field's doing. Field status. Doesn't show us on this. Oh, yeah, it does. The other field doesn't need lime, so we just need to lime this field. So let's go ahead and get that started. That procedure. We'll start that procedure. Beecher. How's everybody doing out there today in TV land? Hopefully everyone's doing well. I am uh, having fun doing this. Hopefully we'll get this farm cracking. Everything cultivated. Mm. That's what we need right there. What harvester did I get again? Oh, Lord. <laughs> This is going to take forever. Oh, well, what can you do? There's a beautiful pickup truck. So let's get out there and get the fields limed, limeys. Arg, the fields need to be limed. Where uh, did I? Did we? Maybe I didn't. I thought I built a lime station, but maybe I didn't. Doesn't look like I did. Somebody said the seed and fertilizer actually work. So I'm not going to... I don't remember if I put those in or not. I thought I did, but I don't... S oh, they're across the street. Okay, there we go. So I did put all that there. But at lime, I don't... I don't remember placing a lime bin anywhere. There it is. Nope, I see it. Okay, I guess I did. <laughs> Arthur, you should really pay attention to who? Me? What? I always pay attention. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's good to be alive. My phone. I'll tell the story again for those of you that haven't seen, but I... I've been driving a hatchback for years, whether it be a minivan or an actual hatchback like the Kia Soul, the Scion XB, and I got used to it. So when I get to a customer's, I open up the back of the car, and I take my drone out and get it ready to fly, and I fly it, and I set it back in the car and take my phone off of it and get it ready to be packed up in the car again. And that's all I have to think about. And I just close up the car and drive off. Well, my new car, my old car, my car that belonged to me that my ex-wife took and then I got back, um, has a trunk. So I'm not used to that. So I've been doing the flying off the top of the car. I picked the drone out, set it up there. So needless to say, I drove off with my cell phone on top of the car. It fell off my car and landed on Pearl Road, which is, for those of you that know the area, it's a very, very busy road. Uh, basically, it's a state route that runs from Cleveland to Columbus, and then further on down, I think all the way to Cincinnati, but it's busiest, you know, like in the cities. It's a very busy route. Uh, it used to be what uh, I-71 is now. Uh, it follows the same route as I-71. It's just a couple mile or so over from I-71, but I-71 was the replacement bypass so hang on a second folks so anyway that <laughs> it's uh it fell off in the middle of the road and I got about you know 20 minutes away and then realized all of a sudden that I no longer had the phone in my pocket 
Went racing back, was praying to God it fell off in the parking lot and not on Pro Road, but no, nope, there it was in the middle of the road. It had been run over by at least six different cars, if not more. I mean, the screen is pulverized. However, I had it in an OtterBox case, and testament to OtterBox. It was one of those $50 OtterBox cases. The phone actually survived, and except for the screen, the phone is completely intact. The camera still works. Uh, I just can't see anything because the screen is completely pulverized. I mean, like, when I say pulverized, I mean it's like dust. And uh, so I ordered one through the local replacement repair shop. And um, the uh, it's uh, <laughs> it hasn't come in yet. And I'm, I, I'm, I have an Apple Watch. Moni got me an Apple Watch when she was here. She made me buy one. And I'm glad she did, because otherwise I would not be able to use my phone at all. Um, so I'm able to actually function and sort of call people um, and get business done as best po as possible using my iPad and my I Apple Watch. And altogether, between the three of them, I have a functional phone set up. Uh, I can't wait till they get my thing in, though, because I just need it. I need to be able to... Oops. <laughs> I need to be able to function better. Uh, this is super annoying not having that. So I might as well, I think, I think we'll do okay on this map. I was a little bit nervous that it wouldn't work well, but I think we're going to make enough money to do okay. This field will probably bring in 40,000 maybe, I'm going to guesstimate, and the other field probably another thirty to 40,000. Uh, we need to take a look at what we're going to grow. I still haven't decided yet, though. I think we can only plant cereals right now, so I have... Or I might do soybean and canola, because I don't really... I have to look through my equipment. I don't remember. I don't think I have any grass tools yet. So I'm going to be working with just plain old, uh, like, regular equipment. So I don't want to have to do straw swath and stuff like that. I just want to sell the crop. So I'm probably just going to do canola and uh, <sighs> um, or as they call it in England, rapeseed um, or rapeseed oil. And then or uh, what's the other one? The uh, soybeans. I'll tell you what I miss when I was in England in the spring. All the canola was coming up in the the fields were all yellow everywhere. It was beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, that was a, a sight to remember, you know. We went up to where Simone at the time had had her horses um, stored, <laughs> stabled. I don't know. I'm not a horse guy. Where they store the horses, uh, where they had the horses stabled. And uh, we had these huge, you know, there's just huge. It's a mountaintop, and so you're looking down across, like, the landscape off, off to the ocean. And all between the farm and the, the ocean is like these rolling hills with uh, canola all over them. And it, it just shockingly beautiful. Um, just absolutely gorgeous scenery. Uh, and then big steel mills everywhere. They have, uh, and I when I say, you know, like we have big steel mills in Ohio. Like we've got LTV steel. I don't know what it is now. It's like Republic. It was Republic for a while. And now it's like Japanese Steel Incorporated. Chinese Steel Incorporated owned by the Chai Um And, uh. But anyway, it's some Chinese company owns it now. But uh, it is a huge steel mill. Uh, but it's down in, like, a valley. So you don't really, you know, see it unless you're, like, right on the edge of the valley. Well, here, like, everywhere you look, way off in the distance, you see these. I mean, I don't know. They're, like, the buildings that they build for these steel mills are just unbelievably huge. They're I've never seen anything like it in America, and I could be wrong. Because I mean, I've been, to, but I've been, to, you know, through a lot of the the big population centers: Detroit, New York, Chicago. Um, obviously, Cleveland was a big steel town, you know, Youngstown. Um, and we just don't have. We have giant facilities, but they're more spread out, and the buildings aren't as large. Like they just they, we built it differently. Um, the English factories are. I mean, like they just take up. I, I don't. I don't know how to explain it. I've ne maybe because the landscape is smaller. Or I don't know. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They the factories are just huge, imposing factories that take up like square miles of building. I mean, it's like one big giant building that's like five million feet tall, and it's you know it's like fifty stories tall, and it's it's the size of Cleveland. It's just 
<laughs> it's huge. Um, and these are some of the big steel works that are over there, and I just they're they're incredible. They really are incredible. Um, they're all closed now or closing. Unfortunately, they're losing a lot of their their industry over there, but it's pretty cool stuff. We are definitely going to have to get more lime. Uh, I thought, you know, oh, yeah, this will cover the field, right? Nope. Lime is expensive. But hopefully it'll warm up. We still have plenty of days to go. Um, but once again, I want to plant canola. And soybean. We'll probably do soybean on this field and canola on the other field. And the, the goal is, now so it used to be that uh, in 17, soybean was the crop of choice um, for the non-cereal crop. Um, but I guess in 19, they said uh, canola actually gives you more yield per seed for your seed dumpage. And it's also... Um, less expensive it takes less seed to plant it was the other way around in 17 but they've switched that now so soybeans are actually more expensive to plant but for market purposes i want to split up the fields that way we're not growing the same thing on on both fields because obviously there is a market issue that we have to deal with now though i think seasons if you sell it at the right time you don't crash the markets but maybe you still do i don't know i know seasons changes the market so that things are worth more or less at different times of the year. Uh, I don't know if those prices go up and down or fluctuate, though, while you're selling like they do with the regular base games. So we'll have to find that out. Somebody in the comments will know. So make sure if you're wondering, look through the comments, and I'm sure one of my knowledgeable viewers will be like, no, it, do no, it doesn't, or yes, it does, or, you know, they'll, they'll know. Um, oh, dang. They'll know the answer. Come on, little two. Actually, I really love this tractor. I've been digging the two-wheel drive. Actually, we're going to go. We're going to actually, 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 we're going to go fill up because we're a little full. So I'm going to go fill this up, and I'll finish the field, and I'll come back and get you guys when I'm done. See you in just a moment. Actually, no time will have passed at all for you. I'm all done. Now I'm being anal. I got like a little extra lime left over. Might as well just use it to fill up the rifts. Rifts that I left on the field. So I got lots of little spots where I missed. Make it perfect. <laughs> Don't miss anything. Little squirts here and there. Squirt. Stop. Oh, missed. Too frugal on the squirting. Oh, and it's done. It's over. All of the stuff is gone. Oops, wrong button. So let's go ahead and uh, we're done doing the liming on this field. So now it's a matter of time. We have to wait till the ground. Let's see. The ground temperature is 39 degrees. Let's take a look and see what. Uh, oh, this is the wrong menu. Alt. Yes. We want to plant canola. It's got to be 41. Soybeans don't get planted until the end of spring. It's got to be 50. Corn also is 50. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, is that my pickup truck? That might be my pickup truck. I didn't even know. I forgot that I had that. I think I showed you guys the pickup, but if it is, I have one of these, actually, a mod truck, but no, this is just a dummy, because I'm a dummy. Is that my truck? I guess not. I'm going to take our limey truck and go wash it off. Our limey tractor. That's about what I do with my pickup trucks, though. I just they end up sitting. I know. I, I wish. 
Like some people use them to pull the trailers around, but the trailers are so large that you can't really pull them with a pickup truck. The pickup truck is just dwarfed by the trailer. So anyway, let's go wash up and then we're going to run into town and get a drink from the local bar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to drive that dump I'm going to drive that dump truck home. <laughs> But we are going to run into town and do some grocery shopping. That's what the truck would come in handy for, but I just don't. I'm not going to spend money on a truck that I can't. I can't afford it, really. So our really, the next thing that we're going to do is going to, uh, is going to be to plant. Until then, we're just kind of hanging out we gotta wait till the temperature is what do they say 40 41 we're getting close but it's still not warm enough uh that we can plant once again we'll take a look so we can plant the canola now with the temperature the ground temperature reaches 41 and the uh soybeans it's 50. but i think i just want to wait until I mean, I could do that, but let's just, maybe we should just wait until late spring anyway and plant them both at the same time. Because um, we really want the weather to be nicer, uh, and we don't want to run the risk of it getting cold again. Because if it gets cold, it could kill the crops. So, so let's go ahead and get in our dumper and run into town. Go. That's a bug there, that thing coming through the dump tank. Let's see, does it? Yeah, it does go through the bottom. Nice. Let's run up to the save and, save and pay. We actually haven't toured the map since it came back out again, so let's take a look. We'll take a little tour right now and Kind of kill some time. All right, so well, it's dark in here. <laughs> Let's look at the map. Let's see, the main town I think is up by Conagra there, but. Well, that's where we're going to turn left to go straight. There's a couple towns on this map. That's one of the things I like about this map. I don't know how they managed it, but it's to me it's one of the things that sets this map apart from the others. Um, it uh, it kind of tells a story. That's why I like it. It's got this like country. Oh, Ohio slash Indiana feel. This is what, you know, like a lot of Ohio and Indiana look like. Kind of Illinois, too. Like you have trees, you know, around the outsides of the fields, off in the distance. This does look like, you know, small town America, and I, that's one of the things I like about it. So, wait a minute, I thought the dealer was, what is this? Okay, this is just another quote unquote dealer, but it's like, man, there's the uh, Ford dealer. Got some Fords and some Rams. There's the general store. See, I love this town. There's an old gold crisp. This was this looks like like Wellington in Ohio. I mean, this is this is really cool. Or Wadsworth, Ohio, um, like those areas. Trinity United Church. That's funny. The courthouse. 
1928 uh, U-Haul. Motel. That's a shady looking motel. We have those in the town I look in. There's a couple of them. There were people. It's definitely shady, you know. But I like this. This is just, it gives the, uh, the game some uh, weight. You know what I'm saying? Like it, uh, Pete's Hardware. We're going to talk to Pete to, oops, <laughs> today about building a greenhouse, but we'll see. They not only supply stuff, but they also uh, allow us to buy stuff from them. I don't have the money this year, but hopefully next two or three years we can invest in some greenhouses and uh, bring some residual income in during the summer once we have animals. The idea is to get animals that produce, you know, manure, and then we take that manure and we can give it to the animals. So I'm going to go talk to Pete. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Well, Pete wasn't in. I'll have to come back tomorrow. He forgot that we had a meeting today. I called him. He apologized profusely, but uh, it's going to be a year or two anyway before we can do it. It's not a big deal. I just want to sit down with him. But I'm going to go grab some breakfast and... Uh, some groceries from the general store and uh and then we'll just hang out I, i'll let you guys uh take a break from the videos and i'll some time will pass <clears throat> and then we'll be into uh mid-spring so that we can get this uh this story going oh look at that i think i turned the wrong way we're gonna get back on the main drag here but uh, once again this is very midwest feeling right here like this whole the train intersection and stuff it's Thank you, Black Sheep Modding. Thank you. That's probably the sheep facility right there for the wool. We're going to do, we definitely going to do sheep and, uh, you know. Now, pigs make a lot of manure. That's one of the things that they're good at doing. But uh, I'll show you where I want to put the greenhouses when I get, uh, the next time we're in. Do I want to go to Applebee's for breakfast? I should have thought about that before I passed right past it. We'll stop here, though. Uh, Bar none's got groceries. I'm just going to put the truck over here in the corner so I don't bother anybody with their car. They're fancy little regular people cars, non-farmer cars. So we'll just park right here and go into the market. Someday I'll be able to afford a regular car. Right now they're too expensive. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead into the market. I'm going to go shopping and take care of my day. I'll see you guys on the flip side when a couple days have passed. We'll pick the story back up again, and we'll see you then. So I got around to talking to Bob. I was in the general store, and then I did go to Applebee's for breakfast and kind of talked to Bob McCormick. He's the owner of uh, McCormick Ford here in the northern part of town and he suggested that uh he said you know what I'll, arthur i've known you for a long time i'm gonna give you a good deal on a lease so um i've been up here talking to him all day and we just we did work out something you know it's not the greatest thing ever but uh i do have a pickup truck that i can get around town in now um just makes sense to to do that so anyway here's our new pickup truck it is a ford f uh 150 uh uh, base V6 Eco EcoBoost. I, uh, I don't remember how many horsepower it is, but uh, it's a real nice crew cab truck. You can see it there in the interior. It's real nice. It's, it's a it's a well put together truck. And um, see here all the the details. Leather interior, no sunroof, but uh, I'm just real happy with this. It, I don't usually like to buy new cars, but he offered me a really good deal on the lease. It's only like 400 a day. <laughs> which in farm sim terms is excellent, but that's not so good when you have to realize that's like uh, for a year it's going to be several thousand dollars. So um, let's go ahead and uh, drive this thing home. Gives us the ability to haul some stuff around. Uh, once again, I know that I'm going to get the inevitable questions like, well, how do you get that on the Xbox? You don't. Uh, this is a PC mod. It is for PC. They don't have Ford or Chevy on the uh, on consoles. Sorry, guys. Now, I'm going to take a look at the map, though. We are going to go for a little bit of a ride, and we'll visit some other parts of the map. I want to run down to Burksville. 
uh, to see the co-op down there. What city is this? Well, this must be more that we're in. And then we'll go we'll head south and check out the biogas plant. Well, that is a steep curve going into, or curb going into uh, Bob McCormick's motors. But uh, anyway, I'm not owning this truck. I'm leasing it. So in two or three years, we'll get another one, maybe get a bigger truck or an upgrade. But for now, we're going to lease this for three years. So day two of early spring, we'll have it until day two of early spring, year three. Um, but it's a nice truck. Look at that. And it has a tow hitch. I did get the tow package for it, so it can carry some weight in the back and should be able to pull around our, our some of our farm equipment. So, hang on, this is hay baler road. <laughs> Pretend like that didn't happen. Don't tell Bob. Mr. Mc Don't tell Mr. McCormick I just wrecked the truck I leased. Uh, we shouldn't put too many miles on it. Once again, I don't... Uh, I don't use the pickup trucks a ton, so we shouldn't have an issue driving around. But if we need to get here to over here to deliver some like uh, equipment that I can pull or you know anything like that, you know maybe we'll. This pickup truck should have the the power to do it, to do some towing, some minor towing. Like all mods, it has some bugs. Look how fast I'm going. Seventy miles an hour. That's probably a little too fast. Oh, these guys only go on 36 miles an hour. It feels like we're going a lot. When they crash into you, it feels like they're going a lot faster. So we're coming into uh, Burksville. See, once again, this is why I like this map. It's got this storytelling. You know what I mean? There's my farm over there. Back, that's one. That's my. Those are my barns back there. The red. Oh, this radio tower way off in the distance. Here's Burksville. Gosh, this just looks so much like Ohio. I just, I can't. The roads are a little bit re more red than we have in Ohio. Kind of like a, almost like Georgia. But the way this, the towns are laid out and stuff. Yeah, welcome to Burksville. Look at that. That's so cool. It's a little town of Burksville. Where does this go? So we have uh, Wells Fargo. They own my house. Dollar General. <laughs> There's a post office, a diner, and uh, actually, we'll, we'll go into we'll go through town. Oops. Somehow I. What was that? Oh, there's the. Okay, get up and lower and raise the gate. So the question is, does this light ever change? Maybe it's static. It could be just for looks. I guess it's static. Rats, I thought it would be cool to wait, but... Okay, never mind. We're just going to go. There is the Burksville Post Office. Trinity United Church. They're everywhere. It's like a cult around here. Some kind of building back there. I don't know what that is. Some kind of co-op or something. Oh, that is the sheep building, huh? Maybe? Pigs? I'm going to build my own, though, but that's maybe the... The Berksville sheep dip. There's a little country road back there. Yep, that's like Ohio too. Down in Amish country, you see that a lot, like little side roads that just follow the main road. <laughs> that's where we got Gromit. <laughs> Gromit the crazy dog. That's a very dark and scary building. Not sure who lives there, but they need to. Wow, it's frightening looking. Head out here to the next little town. Yeah, there's a church up there, so it's another town up here. And this is, I think, where the... Wow, we're going too fast. What's up here? Uh, crystal sugar in the biogas plant. There's a lime station out in the middle of the fields there somewhere. There's crystal sugar. They take sugar beets and turn it into sugar. Got all the piles of sugar beets there. And then heading on south. What I thought... Oh, no, there is a church there. There it is. We'll head down until we see the biogas plant. 
don't think I've ever been down in this part of the map before. It's kind of empty looking over here, but still, that's what it looks like in some parts of Indiana and stuff. Oh, that's a cute little church. Little. It looks kind of short, actually. Wait a minute. We're going to go check that out. <laughs> What's going on here? Is this... uh? No, it's the right height. Didn't it, didn't it look like it was like miniature or something? Like these doors... Uh, no, they're they're the right height. They just it just looks really small. So it's been nice to go for a little cruise in our F one fifty. So once again, yes, you cannot get this. I, I know inevitably I'll put a picture of this truck as the picture of the next video and like like that or something, you know. And uh, somebody somebody somewhere will comment, "How do I get that on my Xbox?" It's like you you don't. Sorry. That's why I don't do mods in my tutorials because that's <laughs> those videos get watched by a lot more people, and I'm like, man, if I do put them in there, like, I'll, that's the only thing I'll, they won't even pay attention to the tutorial. The, the whole time they'll just be asking about the pickup truck because guys love their pickup trucks. They do, as we've learned. Uh, I did drive a Dodge Ram Laredo the other day. I gotta admit, it was it was pretty nice. It was a nice truck. There's the. The BGA. EG Miles, heat and energy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drive back to the farm. If I see anything else interesting, I'll catch up with you. But uh, we'll see in a little bit. It's evening, and I'm rolling back into the homestead. We're just going to park right here. So day two is over. And uh, we're just going to kind of roll through days now. You guys will just hang out there while we roll through the days. Uh, oops. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As we played with the pickup truck, drove around, and the, met a nice guy at the dealership. <laughs> this is going to cost me a fortune. Uh, but that's just how it is. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the pickup truck to cost a fortune. And it's, it's a nice truck. You know, it is going to eat away at some of our finances, though. But... Hopefully when that harvest comes in, we'll have some, enough money to continue to make it another year. And we're going to be a, probably a couple of years before we can afford to expand. But there you have it. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, always up. And we will see you next time on County Line in American Farm. Bye.